All right, so we are gonna talk about selecting books for children at different ages. Um, I loved reading for my boy, with my boys from the moment they were born, at any time of the day, bedtime, nap time, find yourself a time during the day where you can fit in reading in a consistent way. Make it a routine. Different ages will, lend, will like certain books more than others. Um, so I'm gonna start with the infant to one-year-old um, types of books that you might want to consider when kids are babies. And here comes Lucy, my little niece. She'll probably want to take some of these books, but that's okay. So for babies, um, infancy through age one and a half, um, these are some really good books that I love. Um, if you do like the little Farm Friends collection, there's a lot of different types of books. There's truck books, there's construction books of these kinds. They're the baby touch and feel. They have not very many words per page, a couple words per page, and lots of things for them to feel and touch as you read with them. Point out different pictures, animals, tell them what the pictures are. I like the small lift of flat books for little kids this age too. They can practice their small motor skills and lifting things up, seeing different pictures. It makes it interesting for them to see what's under the page. Another thing for one-year-olds, is that they may want to pick up this book and chew on it. So picking durable books are a really good choice too. Do you like that one, Luce? My niece Lucy is 15 months, which is one year and three months. So these are really good for her age. Um, I also, God bless you. I like books that have a lot of color. And even though a one-year-old is not going to know colors per se, showing them really bright colors and talking about animals and what colors are, um, is really good to help develop their cognitive skills. So we have other Hungry Caterpillar books. I love the Eric Carl books. Um, these ones also have little flaps that kiddos can pull at. As you can see, this book is pretty durable. You can like flip this around, chew on it, um, and it's gonna withstand a lot of um, wear and tear. I also love these Us Born Touch and Feel books. I have a ton of these for my boys. Um, that's not my, this one is the pony. So they can again go through and touch and feel. Big pictures, not a lot of words per page, maybe one sentence or a couple words are a really good choice for uh, little kiddos around from infancy through the age of one. All right, so now we're gonna talk about books that are really great for kids ages one to three. So I have my buddy Andy here. Are you on, are you on your cell phone there? Some other kiddos floating around. Um, for ages one to three, you really want to get books that involve them in the fun of reading, some touch and feels. Uh, this is one of my niece's books. Um, it has a little string that makes noises. I love this book. So when they touch it to the little button and it also says the words. Actually, kids of all ages like this book. They all like this book. Even Gavin, who is four. You like this book too, huh? Where's the crab? Oh, the crab is my Slide favorite. Over, buddy. I like that. Can you move over so we can see? I want to see. You want to use that one? Go ahead. All right. Other books that have a lot of fun, big, bright pictures about animals. You can um, integrate alphabet and numbers at this point. Um, this one makes sounds. So as you're reading, there's different sounds for them to hear and things to read about. Again, for this age, you want about one to two sentences per page. You want to keep things moving. There's lots of things for them to touch and feel. You touch that? Good job. That sounds like a little bird. Yeah. I think this is going to be a frog. Oh. Woo! Oh, I hear the frog. I love that. Very cool. <laughs> Sound garden, us board. Um, all right. Also, Andy, do you like Baby Shark? Yeah. Andy loves Baby Shark. Finding books uh, that appeal to children's interests. So Andy loves tractors. He loves Baby Shark. Um, he loves birds and um, all types of things. So finding books like tractor books and Baby Shark books might get them interested because they're interested in looking at characters that they love. Um, also, this one has some things that you can touch and feel to hold their interest. Books about five minutes in length for this age, two to three years old, are really good choices. Next book, let's take a look at this. I love little flap books. Where is, Be where's the beaver? Oh, there he is. 
This is also a good book for babies even. Um, they can learn how to pull with the flaps, open little um, cloth flaps and things like that. This is actually a book in a different, um, there's a series of these types of books. Also, I love to sing songs with kids. So finding books that associate with songs. Do you know Baby Beluga? We sing Baby Beluga, don't we? Yeah, so this book is basically just a recitation of the song Baby Beluga by the very famous Raffi. If you've never heard his songs, you should listen to them. Kids love them. And so that can also be a way to associate little ones ages one to three um, with making reading fun for them. All right, so now it's time to chat a little bit about books for preschool age children. My buddy Gavin here is Don't four and a half. He just started preschool this year. And we're gonna talk about some books that might be appropriate for this age and might make kids excited about reading. Who are these people in here, Gavin? Gentle. Piggy and Elephant. So this is a series by Mo Willems, and we love Piggy and Elephant books. They're hilarious. Kids at this age, they love funny words, things that sound funny, little jokes. They love those types of books. So the more humor you can bring into books with them, the better. Um, it's, if you haven't already, um, start talking about identifying letters of the alphabet. Um, and identifying words and sounds that go with each letter. So talking about how uh, the C makes the K sound and camel uh, sounds, what, you know, sound makes that C sound. Um, D is for donut. I have other kids joining me in the background, huh? And do you like alphabet books too? You wanna hold that one for me? Thank you. All right, I will, I'll read it to you in a second. I'm gonna talk about these. They also make books, uh, this is uh, my niece Lucy Grace's book, that have kids' name, it, names in them. Kids at this age for preschool, they also like books that actually have a story and a plot. They like, they like to hear what's going to come next. Um, so we want to introduce them to books that have maybe two to four sentences on a page, uh, but also still want to have some bright colors for them to look at. This one talks all about different types of colors. Preschoolers should definitely be um, getting familiar with different types of colors and shapes in addition to the alphabet. All right, another book I love are counting books, especially ones that they can touch. Gavin, can you count how many ladybugs are on there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Awesome, 10 little ladybugs. So this book is all about counting and helps practice those counting skills, which is definitely something that you wanna work on with preschool kiddos. Um, introducing things like fairy tales, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs uh, that might associate with uh, movies that they've seen. Have you ever seen Finding Nemo? Yes. Yes, do you like Finding Nemo? Mm -hmm. So again, stories that basically tell the story about a movie that they've seen is really fun for kiddos that age. Hey, have you ever read this book before? This is Gavin's favorite book to take in the car. What do you call this book? Goldbug. Goldbug. As you can see, this book is very ragged. This is what Gavin reads in the car. Um, it's pretty long, but it has tons of pictures for him to look through. Um, we love this one just to sit down at home and read through, uh, but he also likes to look at it on his own during some quiet time. We've done these types of books too, where you have to search for certain things on the page not so much a reading book, but definitely practices some cognitive skills. So this one says that you have to find one drum kit and then they have to locate that there. Um, I love that one too. Last thing I'm gonna talk about is you can get magazines for kiddos. Do you like these magazines? Gavin loves when these magazines come. Uh, they This is the Highlights Magazine. It practices all sorts of different skills. There's stories in here. Um, there are seek and finds in here. There are different crafts and snacks in there. Of course, um, these are th these can be ordered. I think they're maybe like ten dollars for a subscription, but also makes kids excited. My magazine's in the mail. I can't wait to read it. As you saw, he just took his magazine away. Are you gonna read it somewhere? Are you gonna read it later? Yeah. So playing into children's interests at this age can help get them into reading as well. I like to practice some sight words with Gavin. He knows all of his letters. Um, practicing colors and shapes is really good um, to get preschoolers ready for kindergarten. So there's a little couple tips on how to pick books for kids. Um, find some kids in your life and pick some books and read to them every single day.